Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Elena and I'm so excited about today's video. I can't even tell you. I haven't shopped on Amazon in a really long time and I was just itching to buy some clothes. I'm kind of familiar with their fabrics and what to look for when I'm shopping. So if you like hauls, please keep watching and also subscribe to the channel and join the family. Set your alert settings because I love buying clothes and sharing them with the world. So if you love to look at what to buy, then you're in the right spot. I bought over 30 items because I just got so excited and I just kept clicking and adding stuff to my cart and by the time I was done I was like, whoo, am I really going to do this? And yeah, I definitely did it, but I'm really happy to share it with you, so let's get right to it. Okay, first things first, I have to start off with what I'm wearing because I'm a thousand percent obsessed with this. It's this cute little set. So excuse my bra because I'm supposed to be wearing a racer back bra with this, but it's this cute little set here. It's a top. Yes, I do wear a bra because I have a small chest, so I wanted to make it look a little better in this outfit, but you can zip this up or down. It's a little white top, racer back in the back, and also it comes with these adorable shorts. Here's the little short set that I got. How cute is this, you guys? So, so flattering and pretty. The white is just gorgeous. Once again, excuse my bra straps, but this is how it looks. It's not too short, which I like. Sometimes they like ride up, but these will stay exactly where they go. Thick material. The back is a nice little racer back style. And these are like the sets that they have from Old Polly. I love Old Polly, but it is kind of expensive. So this outfit, I'm not sure how, how much it was. It was around like $25 or $30, which is not bad because Old Polly is like more than double the price. And they have other sets that look like what Old Polly um, has too. And these are just as good of quality. Now, I am obsessed with this top. Like how good does this look? And these shorts with the drawstring, like you can tell how good the quality is. Not see-through at all. Not see-through at all. Best part about them. So super excited about this. And also <laughs> I'm wearing these little anklets right here. So these babies are um, really popular right now. This like Cuban chain link. And I love them because I was gonna wear these with a pair of shoes anyway and the buckle or the clasp is actually like a little buckle so you put it in like that and look how cute that little buckle is so i put this on the outside of my ankle and it looks like a shoe clasp like it looks like when you wrap the strap around your ankle it's so cute so i bought two one for each foot because i wore these with flip flops on both feet and it just looked so good it just makes you look so dressed up on to item number two. Now, it's summer, I know, but you know what? Winter's gonna come just right around the corner and I was so obsessed with these, I could not not buy them. They are these cute little um, slippers. How pretty are these? I am obsessed with this diamondy little shoe. I love the fur, they're like the Ugg shoes kind of, but with bling, so these are way better because I wanted like the pink Ugg shoes, but I wanted the hot pink ones and they were sold out and they were a hundred bucks. These were like 30 something. So not as bad as those. And they come with bling. The blush tone is pretty. They're so soft. I can't wait to wear these in the winter. So, so cute. So comfortable. I love this little strap in the back so they don't slip and slide everywhere. I'm just, I'm so obsessed. I'm also going to try not to talk about prices too much just because with Amazon, everything fluctuates. So what I tell you today might not be what it is tomorrow. So if I don't talk about prices, that's why. Also, I did get this um, in a size small. Mostly everything I got in a size small. I will mention if I bought a size medium and anything, but mostly everything I buy is always in a size small. On to another item. Now, when I first saw this, I wasn't sure about the material. It is kind of like that shiny material. This is double line though. It's a skirt in case you didn't know. And when I saw it on the model, I was like, this is adorable. I really want to try it. And I'm so happy I did because the way it hugs your curves, I'm not even kidding, is just the best thing on the planet. The back has an extra little scrunch. So it looks really cute on. I will show you guys what it looks like. But here is the little ruching skirt, you guys. I told you this looks so good. The little ruching makes it so cute 
Also, it gives you a nice little shape in the back too. I like how this like, this ruching just makes your body look so good, you guys. I love this look. The pink color is adorable. Like I said, at first I was unsure about this like shiny material. This is one of the fabrics you have to watch out for if you like this. Um, I think it looks better in some colors than others, to be honest. Some colors, this fabric just does not look good at all, but I feel like this pink color is kind of soft, so it doesn't make it look as cheap. To be honest, they've been making more and more clothes with this fabric, and with skirts like this, it's fine. It actually looks cute. The pink skirt that I bought, I just got it in white. Once again, it is kind of that bluish fabric, but when I tried it on, I still really loved it, regardless of the bluish hue or anything like that. And on the camera, you probably can't even tell that this has a bluish hue. I don't know why this white has a bluish hue, but it does. And it's kind of shiny, but when you try it on, like I said, it looks really, really nice. The shape is amazing, and they have tons of colors for you to choose from. Like I said, these skirts with this material are so flattering and cute. They just give you like the cutest little shape, you guys. I love how this looks. I love the back. The next top I'm so excited about, I got two colors because I just loved it so much, and it's this um, lacy bodysuit. So you could wear this as lingerie if you wanted to. Honestly, I'm gonna wear this with jeans because I'm just so obsessed with it. It even looks good with like a black pair of pants or a white pair of pants. I'm just really in love with this. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this pattern on here. I'm not a stripes person and it does have a stripe pattern in the lace, but when you try it on, it's so pretty. And I was kind of worried about how it would fit. Without a bra, I don't think it's okay. I think it needs some kind of cups inside just because it is see-through and also, also it doesn't have any support. These look like underwires, but they're not. They're just sewn that way. This one's a little bit harder to see in the lights, but this is the red one and still very beautiful. The white one I feel like pops a lot more. The red is still gorgeous in person. It's just hard to see on the camera. As for this next top, I was extra excited about it because I wasn't sure what the fabric would be like, but it was better than what I expected. And it's gonna look kind of weird when I show you, but then when I try it on, you'll be able to see the concept of this halter top and it just ties right there. Look at this fabric. It is so nice. It's like a satiny material, but it's really thick. I don't even know how to explain it. You can, I hope you can see the quality of it on the screen, but also it's a beautiful beigey color. I feel like it's looking more gold on the screen than it is in person. It's actually a really nice nude. And so you can either tie this at the back or you can kind of wrap it around, which I'll show you too. But this is a super beautiful top. Here is this pretty little top. I think this is so gorgeous and classy. I can't believe how beautiful this looks. Like, you can tell on camera, it looks literally so classic and beautiful. This is the back. It's gonna look weird because of my bra, but just don't pay attention to it. But it just kind of wraps in the back and you can wrap it around your body to the front like I did. Or if you didn't want to wear it like this, I also like it tied in the back. So you don't even have to bring it around here. You can just like tie a bow in the back, which also looks extremely pretty. I'll show you that too. I love this halter top because it keeps you so cool in the summer. It's not much fabric. It's absolutely beautiful, you guys. Look at that. And you could just wear it like that. And that still looks really good. I also went ahead and picked up this gorgeous Cuban link chain, the necklace. Like, look how beautiful that is, you guys. It even looks good with this. Like, if you want to stack and layer your jewelry and you want to be really extra, this is definitely the way to go. It looks so beautiful. I love it. And it's actually pretty shiny in person. On the website, I was thinking it was going to be kind of dingy, but it's actually a nice color. So I love this. When I got this next item, I was kind of unsure if I would like it or not. It is a really cute, it is really cute though. It's this little slinky skirt. I love this ruched detailing. I feel like it's so popular right now and it looks so nice. It has these strings that you can pull to shorten or lengthen the skirt. Here's the skirt I was telling you about. I love this skirt. It's so, so cute. And it just looks really good, you guys. See how cute it is? You can ruche it like however you want. You just kind of play around with it until you like how it looks. 
I love that you could just pull these and you can make it shorter, you can make it longer if you wanted to. I kind of like it when it comes up higher on the sides than in the middle here. I think that's a cute look. So like I said, you could just really play around with this and make it look literally however you want to. You tie the little sides here and it gives it a really cute look. You could wear it as high-waisted as you want or you can make it lower if you wanted to. I like it a little bit higher waisted, especially now that crop tops are so popular. But this is really cute, and I didn't think I would like this color, but I actually love this color. Okay, this dress, I love it. It's so cute, so comfortable. I love the color. This nude color is just beautiful. The fabric feels so nice. It's almost a shiny material, but not, I don't know, if you're going to be able to tell on the camera, I will try to show you, but I know the camera is not going to do this dress justice. I love this little ruched detailing because I love that you can kind of play around with it on your body and it kind of hides anything that you want to hide, but at the same time, it also gives you shape. So that's why I really like the ruched detail on clothing, but this is a perfect color. And then the thin straps just make it so cute. I don't really like those super thick straps. These are a little bit more feminine to me, so I like these a little better. So here's how this dress would look if I did absolutely nothing to it, which I do not recommend. Don't ever just leave a piece of clothing and try not to fix it to look good on your body because I wouldn't wear it like this, but I would pull it and kind of scrunch it and play with it. This is more of a mini dress for me. Like, I think it looks cuter a little bit shorter, but you could see the ruche needs to show on this don't let it just go straight you got to kind of play with it and it's kind of hard to play with it on camera i feel like it can play with it better in person but do you see the difference when you kind of just like move it around and isn't this a nicely shaped dress you guys it's so cute this ripped cotton material is one of the fabrics i mentioned that you can find on amazon and it is really nice because it's just a nice material now this dress, I'm not sure about the color. I don't really like the color to be honest, but yeah, I'll just have to show you what it looks like on, on the website. It looked so cute on everybody. I just had to pick it up and see for myself. This is the pink color that I said I was kind of unsure about. It's not a terrible color. It's like a, I don't even know what kind of pink this is, but it's just not my favorite. The style is cute, just like the other one. It's just not the cutest color. These shorts, I was unsure of when I got them because on the website, they looked kind of different. The bottom looked a little bit more white and I don't know, they just looked different than what they do in person. And I wasn't sure about them until I tried them on because they actually looked kind of really good. I think I would have ordered up a size maybe just for the length or I wish they were the same size but longer because they fit so well. They hugged my body so well. I just loved how these fit. These are the shorts I mentioned. See how good they look? They just like hug your figure, but when I turn around, they are extremely short, but still they look really cute. I wish this was a little bit longer here, like maybe like that, but the fit is actually really good because it's hard to find a pair of jeans that fit my waist and my legs, so it's really nice when I can find one, but unfortunately, they're too short. This next dress is a lot brighter than I thought, but I do love lime green, so I haven't tried this one on because I did just get it today and everything else I tried on yesterday. I do really like it. This fabric has a fleecy interior, so it's good for if you live in a hot climate, but it's cooler at night or the day is just a little bit cooler because it is going to keep you warmer than just a thin summer dress, but the look of it is very summery, very club-like. Once again, it is kind of that shiny material, so not everybody's going to love it. I've been liking it more in the types of clothes they've been making it with. I can't wait to show you what this looks like on because I'm excited to try it myself. Okay. Next up, I have this cute little gray skirt that I am obsessed with. I probably have said I'm obsessed like a million times today, but it's true. This one is like one of my favorite things that I got. And I'll tell you why. I, it's this pretty ribbed material and they're doing such a good job with materials now. I can't even tell you the improvement that I've been seeing little by little on the clothes they're selling on Amazon. It's not like those thin, cheap fabrics anymore. A lot of sellers are starting to catch up and be like, you know what, we need to make better clothing. And I'm really happy that they are because 
I love this skirt and it looks like just a plain skirt but when you try it on you guys the fit is so good and the material feels so thick but soft at the same time and a lot of these things come in so many colors so if you just click my links I'm gonna put everything in the description in case you want to pick up anything but if you just click the links you will see that they have so many different colors and I always hop to the photos to see if they have the color I want to get just to get an idea of if I'm actually gonna like it or not because you know sometimes you see it on the screen but it doesn't look exactly like what it does in real life so I always have to those reviews so that's just a tip for you but I'm obsessed with this little ruffle on the bottom too it looks so girly I just love this skirt love it here's how the gray skirt looks I'm just gonna leave this top on for trying on but I really love the ruffles I love the fit and like I said I love the feel of this you guys would definitely love this like this is one of my favorite items I know I said I loved everything, but to be honest, the next thing I wasn't too crazy about, I mean, it's okay and it's cute when you put it on, but the material is just not my favorite. And it is this light pink tube top. I don't know if I absolutely love how it's cut either. It's a bodysuit and I really wanted a bodysuit, but the problem with this is it would be okay in the fall time or on a cooler day. But in the summer, which is what I wanted it for, it would not be good because once again, it has that fleece lining. So this seems to be a really popular type of fabric on Amazon. So watch out for that. Here is the bodysuit. It is not terrible. It's just, this is how it looks. Oh, yeah, actually it's really cute, isn't it? I actually like this elastic right here. It'll kind of hold it in. And then along with the pink tube top that I got, I also got one in white. This one does not have a blue hue. It is just like a white color, but it still has the fleece lining. It has like a double lining up until right under your bra. So if you like it like that, it's good. It doesn't show too much. Sometimes when shirts have that bra lining, you could really see where the line is at and it doesn't look good. I really didn't find that with this one. I just tucked my bra in so I get that it looks kind of weird, but that's how it looks. Here's the back. Yeah, it actually looks really nice. This is a really popular style of shirt and I'm sure you've seen it online or if you haven't, it's a really popular style online right now on all the little boutique websites. It is super cute. The style is adorable. However, it is like a whitish blue color. I think this one you could actually see what the fabric is like on the screen, but it is this like shiny fabric and it is just not the fabric I was looking for. Once again, I just wanted like a white cotton fabric in this exact style. I don't know if the blue hue is going to come off on the camera, but in person you could definitely see the cool toned blue hue, which to be honest makes this shirt look really cheap. So. I'm not the biggest fan, but I do like the style and I'll still try it on and show you what it looks like. Here's this little bra top. Like I said, it's really cute, but the material just kind of ruins the actual look of it for me. Um, yeah, I really do like this style though. I feel like this is really cute, but the fabric just makes it look really bad. Like it doesn't make it look good. This is the back of it. This next dress I really wanted to love because I wanted to have this like little Barbie moment. I saw it on somebody in the reviews and I was like, that is so cute. But it doesn't look so cute on me, so I was kind of disappointed. It's this corally neon pink color, which is so, so pretty. Like looking at it on the screen, it is just gorgeous. It's a dress, so it goes all the way down like this, all the way down. But to be honest, the bottom is too loose on me and it kind of looks like a curtain at the bottom. If you are extremely shapely, this will look amazing on you. I can't tell you, please go pick it up right now because you will look so hot in this. But on me, like the top fits fine all the way to maybe like under my knees and then it gets a little bit like questionable, like what are you doing? It looks like I'm wearing a curtain, literally. Here is this hot pink dress. Yes, it does look good from like here to here. But once you start getting lower, it just kind of like loses its shape completely. I don't know if you could tell there, but I don't know. I really wanted to love this dress. And from here, it actually looks kind of cute. The color is so cute too. 
see how that looks like it looks cute from here but then as it gets longer it goes downhill from there so these pants I wanted to be excited about but to be honest I don't know how I feel about them and I'll tell you why because when I saw them I really did like them you know the Amazon leggings that are super popular with the ruche in the butt these are them but just in black they don't have that weird pattern on them or that texture which I absolutely love you can see it's looser in the butt it gives you like it gives you room for your shape because a lot of times when you have compressed leggings or compressed pants it also compresses your butt so it just makes you look really flat and squished that's why they made these kind of pants because it gives you more room in that area that way you can kind of fill it out more and it doesn't sl smash your butt the thing I like about this one too is they even made the fabric thinner in this area so that it stretches more to that area and you don't have to smash your butt the only thing I don't like is when you try them on there is a line around that area around the circle I don't think you're gonna be able to see it well you kind of can like it has I don't know I'm gonna try to show you see how it has kind of like that seam going around when you try them on you can see where that seam is and it's just kind of not a look which I'm really upset about because if it looked seamless going from this thinner fabric to the thicker fabric it would be amazing because these pants look really good on now this is the bodysuit that I've been looking for I really wanted to find a white one and I ordered one off Aliexpress a while ago and it was just horrible quality the cut was terrible so when I found this I was like let me try it out because it looked really good on people and the picture on Amazon was really good and sometimes you can tell if it's gonna be a really good item or a really bad item by the photos that they post and this one you could tell was gonna be a really good item it does have that um, striped pattern which I'm not a fan of but like I said this looks really good when you try it on and it's gonna look amazing with a pair of jeans so I cannot wait to wear this and here's the back super sheer you could wear this as lingerie if you want to I'm gonna wear it with an outfit and put some bra cups in there just to cover myself but other than that I am obsessed with this bodysuit I'm putting this top on over my nude bra because I don't want everything to show but doesn't this look really pretty it comes up really high so you have to wear a high-waisted pair of pants but I love this pattern and how it looks what do you guys think of it here's how the back looks just picture it without the bra and these cups are so perfect they're a good shape I'm glad that the underwire is not an underwire because when it is it just like gives it a really bad shape this you can kind of play around with it and match it to your bra or your shape but I love how this looks I've been wanting to get these for at least four years and I love this little tassel detailing Jimmy Choo made a shoe like this and they're so expensive so I was not about to buy those Jimmy Choo heels as badly as I wanted them because they were just so expensive not even kidding you I finally when I made this video I was like I have to get these shoes because I've wanted them for so long and I don't know what took me so long to pull the trigger now I will say when I got them I was disappointed because they sent me a half a size too small and these shoes are kind of tight like I tried these on because sometimes I can go half a size lower but these I definitely could not the top was just really tight so be mindful of that but these shoes if they were the right size I would be so excited I'm sad that I have to send them back you could kind of see the glue a little bit though like I don't know if you could see that but you could see where like the red spots are I love the rhinestones and they're not pearls they're like a, a stud I'm gonna go ahead and actually order my size because I just think these are so beautiful I really wanted that Tiffany bracelet with the heart on it it is a just a silver bracelet and it has a pink heart on it and I saw this on Amazon it was like seven dollars maybe but I saw this on Amazon and I was like "Ooh, I want to try that I think it's really cute it is cute however it's a lot darker and the balls are bigger on it and also the heart is bigger on it so it's not exactly like the Tiffany it is a Tiffany style and it's not bad it's it's cute it's just not exactly what I thought it was gonna be if you like the Tiffany bracelet and you want something similar this is definitely something that's similar to it 
like I said, it's darker and also bigger than it, but also it is still really cute. So you guys know how much I love my hoop earrings. Hoop earrings are my absolute favorite thing to wear, my favorite type of earrings. And I needed some more basic ones. I got this set of three. It came with silver, rose gold, which is more like a pink tone. Yeah, it's like a really pinky color. And then I got gold earrings. I always need these because they always get old, they get lost, you know, so you always need extra pairs of hoop earrings in your life, or at least I do, because when I'm looking for something to wear with my outfits, it's always a hoop. That's why I like to have ones with rhinestones, ones with pearls, plain ones, ones with stuff hanging, ones that say stuff on them, just because I want them to match all my outfits, because that's how much I love hoop earrings. I am obsessed with colorful things. I love colored clothes. I love colored jewelry. I love colored bags. I love colored shoes. I love colors. So when I saw these bracelets, um, I had to get them. Here we go. So, okay, don't mind this one. This one's not from Amazon, but look how cute these are, you guys. I'm so in love with them. They're just adorable. Hold on, I'm gonna cover myself up because I really want you guys to be able to see these. They have little hearts, and the bottom one with all the colors right here, this has little flowers. Like, the little beads are actual flowers. So cute. I love, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. I'm going to wear these, like, every day this summer. <gasps> They're so cute. I feel like because I have smaller wrists and smaller arms that this kind of, like, dainty little jewelry, these, like, little beads and stuff, like, I look like a little kid, and I love it. I am living for this, you guys. I really had high hopes for this top because when I saw it online, I was so excited. And then I tried it on and it was, first of all, huge. And that was probably my only disappointment about it because it was like, I ordered a small and it feels like an extra large. But it's so cute still. It's this little corset top. I had been wanting this White Fox Boutique top that was similar to this except it was like more triangular at the top like it had a really cute shape but this one has a really cute shape too and it has these cute little straps and i was so excited to wear this i was like this is gonna look so good this summer i could wear this with so many things it's such a pretty little white satin top and then i tried it on and then i was like I don't even fit in this or I just need a bigger chest you guys that's probably it for the purpose of this video I did keep my bra cups on just to fill this out but literally like you could see the space between even my bra and this top that's how big it is and that's why I'm really upset about it because I absolutely love it look at how like loose it is in here it should be way tighter it should fit me like this so a little disappointed in that the little part over here kind of sticks out a little bit which I don't like it I feel like it should be in more and even on the back it's the same thing like you could see the little strap thing I wish that would be tucked in more so yeah guys that's all I have for you today I really hope that you enjoyed this video I had so much fun making this I have not made a haul like this in a while and it was just so exciting for me like getting these packages in the mail and trying on these clothes literally gives me life and makes me so excited i want to make tons more hauls i'm so excited to make more and more videos for you guys i know i've been kind of mian here i've just been kind of all over the place in my life so that's why i haven't been on here as often but i truly love making videos i love getting calls for you guys i love talking about beauty i would love to do more vlogs um yeah if you guys just want to see like a day in my life just let me know if you like those types of videos because i definitely would love to make them and yeah guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye